You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wayne Gaming. It's something to be on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of After Class, Coach Gill's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Oh, you're done. Oh god. Huh? He came to the living room without wearing anything but a towel draped around his neck. He quickly turned away, eyes focused on the TV once again. What? Why are you naked? Because I just finished showering? But did you have to come out naked? Not really, but I forgot to bring my clothes to the bathroom. Why? Did the sight of my naked body have you all hot and bothered? Whatever, just wear your clothes. Alright, alright. There, I'm done. Still being cautious, he peeked slowly, making sure he wasn't pulling another joke on you. At least he was true to his word this time. Do you want to leave now? It's still too early, but I don't see any reason to stay here longer. Let's go. Sure. Oh, wait, I need to take my phone, too. Okay. Don't forget to lock your gate. Okay. Don't want to bring it up, but I was wondering if you'd figured out what caused the smell in the house. No, not really. I might ask the landlord later. Hmm, good idea. Keybard, don't do that. Okay. Hey, Henry. Race you to school? Not again! As expected, you arrived at school feeling like you weren't going to get enough air if you had to run for one more one more minute. Coach Gill, on the other hand, seemed like he was completely fine, even though he didn't break a sweat. Even the even so, you felt like you had managed to run better than you were than you did last week. Maybe all those exercises you did with him finally showed his benefit. You used to exercise regularly anyway, so your body knew what to do. Good job, Henry. I can see that you're getting better at cardio. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Thanks, Coach. Here. He tossed a water bottle toward you after saying that, and he managed to catch it in time. Jeez, you really like to do that, huh? But thanks. No problem. Having good reflexes is one of many key points of mastering basketball. You unsealed the bottle and started drinking the water. How refreshing. I'm gonna head inside now. See you later in practice. Okay. No reason for you to stay here now that Coach Gill isn't here anymore. Let's head to Mr. Parker's class and pray that there would be something for you to do once you were there. I knew I got here too early. Only a few seats were taken. The front until the front until middle row were still empty. Despite that, the classroom sounded crowded. Conversations overlapping with each other. He took her usual seat, getting ready for the class. Mark wasn't around just yet, so the whole time you were anticipating his arrival. But after waiting for more than ten minutes, he wasn't here yet. I wonder if he's skipping class today. Better not be. I need him to study with me. Actually, I don't know if Mark's someone who would want to study for an exam. Mostly falls asleep in classes. I wonder if he's failing any classes because of that. So, you know, coffee time. I have a Starbucks peppermint. Peppermint mocha. It's delicious. But he doesn't strike me, strike me as, strike me as someone dense. He sounds smart. Whatever he is, I'm gonna drag him with, eh, I'm gonna drag him with me later. While you were busy thinking about it, Abby entered the classroom and sat down on his seat. Your eyes met with his, and he smiled at you. He smiled back, naturally. Interaction between you two ended there. Bummer. Another long moment passed. More seats were getting filled. The chatter had gotten louder and indistinctive. It was a whole melting pot of conversation in there. Mark walked in not too long after, rubbing his eyes while letting you while letting out the widest yawn he'd ever seen today. You can't help but putting on a big smile on your face. First thing I noticed when I walked inside was a dumb smile on your face. You rolled your eyes, knowing that was just something Mark would do. Happy to see me much? You wish. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you wish you'd be good at lying. He wasn't wrong. You were actually happy to see him. What's up? Not really. Not much, really. Just waiting for you. Waiting for me? Yeah, having you here makes me feel less lonely. If you want to make me feel less lonely, do it at home, not here. What? You didn't realize that it sounded like you were implying about sex, did you? D did it really sound like I was implying that? Somewhat. But I didn't mean that. I know, I just messing with you. Ah! Judging from what you told me, I can safely assume that you got here early. Yeah. Why is that? I just don't have any reason to stay home. Wrong. Huh? But that's what it is. There's always reason to stay. Taking a nap, for example. I'm not going to risk oversleeping. Plus, I was in there with Coach Gill. I feel like the longer I'm there alone with him, the more dangerous it's going to get. You won't believe it. Oh, I will. 
Anyway, you won't believe it, but he flashed me and he flashed me in front of, but he flashed in front of me after taking a shower. Yep, I believe you. That sounds like him, all right. I guess it does sound like him. <laughs> yep, it does. He made me exercise with him while going to school. No wonder it stinks here. It does? You started sniffing around your shirt frantically, but you didn't pick up anything with your nose. Instead, you picked up something with your ears. Mark's laughter. Real funny, Mark. It's just so fun seeing your reaction is all. You already said it this morning when we were leaving for leaving for home. I'll say it again if I need to. Eh. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be an exam tomorrow. Surprised you remembered. Oh, you didn't. Someone must have told you. Is it Abby? No. Mr. Stone? You nodded and hung your head in shame. Have you studied for it? No, I haven't. Hearing that from Mark brought you some hope. Your ears perked up, eyes sparkling, mouth open. Pog! At least if you were going to fail the exam, you'd have Mark failing together with you. Although I don't, although I don't have to, I remember everything I learned in here in class. So you thought. Once again, you hung your head in shame. I'm gonna fail this exam all by myself then. There you go. Coffee time. Not if we change it. What do you mean? We kidnapped Mr. Stone so he can't teach tomorrow. How about that? He said that with a straight face that you started to wonder if he was joking or not. Yes. I was just kidding. No, I was just kidding anyway. I'm not too sure about that. I was kidding. Alternatively, I can help you study after class. <gasps> he said it. He said after class. That sounds a lot more doable. The amateurs. Mr. Parker said he'd help me with that too. Oh, I don't think you still need help. My help then. Well, I won't force you, but it would be great if you could help me. Huh, if you insist so much. What would you do without me? You're right, you're right. And that was how you and that was how you dragged Mark with you, stroking his ego like you would stroke his <clears throat> uh never mind. I can't after class though. I have basketball practice today. Oh right, I forgot you're athletic now. Barely! I'll see if I can do that then. It's okay if you can. Alright, class, we're going to start the session. Oh, he's here. Let's talk later. Sure. That's all for today. We got an exam tomorrow. Don't forget to study for it. Mr. Parker's class concluded with a bad note. You, along with the rest of the students, let out a disgruntled moan. Suddenly, Mark, suddenly Mark's idea of kidnapping Mr. Parker sounded appealing. But he wouldn't do it. Wanna grab lunch? Sure, I skipped breakfast today. I could use some grub right now. Grub? Like grub like food or insects? Food! Ha! <laughs> You go first. I need to talk with Mr. Parker. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh, sure. Mark walked through the doorframe and headed to the cafeteria. You stood there, waiting for the other students to finish talking to Mr. Parker. When you saw a chance to talk to him, you quickly approached him. Henry, do you need something? I'm just confirming if we're still going to the study later. Of course, just head over to the library once you're done with your practice. I'm going to be there until evening. I see. Alrighty. Thanks, Mr. Parker. I'll head out now. Good luck with your next class. Thanks. Once confirmed your study session with Mr. Parker, you step back and let the other students the other students to swarm him with questions and whatnot. You guys well, you guys who have some questions can also see me there. Although make sure that you guys aren't making a scene or being too loud. I wouldn't want us to get kicked out. Mark was waiting in front of the cafeteria instead of ordering his food without you. What a, what a, what a considerate man he was. Well, what are we having today? Burgers! That was a swift answer. I'm craving for some meat right now. When are you not? Never! Ho, oh, look who's here! Who? Oh. He tilted his head to the left, and there was Coach Gill sitting there eating... Salad? Looked like a salad from, the, from a distance, at least. I decide. What are you doing? What are you gonna have? I recommend the burger. There you know. Actually, I might be having a burger soon myself. Um, or some grilled seafood. I have a choice. Going out with my parents today. Should be awesome. I'm going to be spending the night with my parents. But I'll still be making content for y'all. Alright. Burger. Is it good? No doubt. I'll have the same one then. Awesome. You can sit there near your Coach Gill and I'll get our food. Okay. My Coach Gill? You approached Coach Gill that was devouring his salad with a spork. He ate sporkful of the greens with gusto despite him being a canine. On second thought, not really. You noticed that there was some chicken bits in his salad. Eat protein. Huh? Hey, coach. Oh, Henry, what's up? Just waiting for Mark to get our food. Oh, sit down here then. 
He patted the seat next to him while he put another bite-sized chicken into his mouth. Oh, don't mind if I do. While hesitation, he sat down in the exact spot. He grinned and spoon-fed, spork-fed me with his food. He was food. Um, no. You would have done it if it was if it was in private, but there were at least a hundred students sitting there. It wouldn't cause an uproar if he accepted his food. I tried. Mark came with a food tray. He had two burgers on each. He had two burgers on each tray. Each burger, each burger was placed beautifully on a ceramic plate. This was honestly too pretty for too pretty for a school cafeteria lunch. The meat was beautifully grilled. The buns were shiny. You could tell that it was perfectly made. No wonder he recommended it. Burgers for lunch? No, Coach Gill. This is a obese pork meat. Someone by the table next to yours hemmed as he heard as he heard what Mark said. He was a cute, chubby pig beast man. No offense to the guy over there, of course. Mark clicked his tongue, accompanied with a finger gun and winking. The guy snorted disapprovingly, rolled his eyes, and went back to eat his food. So, did I miss anything? Not really. You sure? Yes. I don't believe you. What do you mean? You're sitting too close to him. Oh, I do? Yes. Oh, I do. He scooted away a few inches from Coach Gill. You could hear that he clicked his tongue, disapproving. Mark, on the other hand, was smirking as if he had won a certain battle. But nothing happened, I swear. I believe you now. So, I don't think I asked you before, but what class are you taking after this, Henry? Uh, social science, I think. Oh, awesome! Looks like we're gonna be classmates again. Really? Yep. I'm glad. Social science, huh? It might be helpful to you, Henry. Oh, how so? You also take my psychology of sexuality, don't you? Yeah. They are somewhat related. Social science majors include, but not limited to, anthropology, economics, social policy, and psycho- and psychology. Correct. I, uh, don't- don't- don't get it. You will in time. Alright, y'all. Let's see. Is water time? Oh, coffee time. Yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> There's another reason why it's good and good for Henry. Oh, what is it? He's kind of dead, so don't you think that he might benefit from social science? Ha! <laughs> I think you're right. Hey, I'm right here. Sure you are. Tell me why you decided to take that class. Uh, oh shit, I think you're right. Exactly. While having the, while having the lunch together with Mark still talking about the next class, you caught Coach Gill putting his hand under the table and onto your thigh. Your eyes widened. You quickly pulled your thigh away before he could do more, but he, he was persistent. And hence why his hand managed to find its way to your leg once again. Doing more than that would catch Mark's attention, so you stayed quiet and let him rub your inner thigh this thigh this time. It was good. Dangerously good, in fact. You had to make sure you didn't accidentally do some weird movements, or else Mark would find out. And deciding that it was enough of a sens essential touching for your coach, you grabbed his hand discreetly away from you. Instead of moving away, now he held your hand. He spent time eating lunch while holding hands with Coach Gill, multitasking at its best. Bunch of heathens. Oh, Henry. Hmm? Yeah? Did you figure out anything about the smell in your house? What smell? Did you two make some mess in the house? Depends. You know, the smell of men. No, the house smelled like tobacco. Oh, alright. No, not yet. Actually, just let me check my phone now. I haven't checked it the whole day. Sure. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, before I go, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. And thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. Thank you for subbing to our ultimate tier. You're awesome and we love ya. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our Not Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!